Tanner, Jack Tanner, Jack Tanner, Tanner, Jack Tanner, Jack Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. All right, so as you may know, aluminum repels magnetic field. And so if you wrap a coil of wire around an aluminum can and put a very high discharge of electricity through it, it should hopefully crush the can, which should be pretty cool. So I've got a few turns of wire wrapped around this soda can. This uh, wire is going to be hooked up to my large capacitor bank I have in the background. This capacitor bank has a thousand microfarads at a thousand volts, which equals about to about 500 joules. That amount of uh, power is going to be flowing through this coil and is hopefully going to make this can be crushed. Uh, for comparison, a firecracker has about 30 joules. So this is 18 times more powerful than a firecracker. Let's get started. Alright, here's the can after it's done. And as you can see, it did get crushed. Now, it didn't get crushed as much as I would have hoped, but I'm guessing that that's just because I don't have enough power. Now, as you can see, I only have eight capacitors, but I'm probably going to go buy some more so we have a bigger bank. But anyway, that's pretty cool. That was a massive explosion inside the soda can, which looks pretty cool. Alright, so right now we're going to be doing a quick test of another one of aluminum's interesting properties of being repelled by electromagnetism, and we're going to do that with this hard drive disc. This hard drive disc is made of aluminum. Ow, there's an ant. Oh, I'm sitting in a pile of ants. That's not good. Anyway, aluminum has an, aluminum has an interesting property of being repelled while by an electromagnetic field. So we've got this pancake coil sitting on the ground, and it's connected to my giant capacitor bank, and hopefully when we launch off this capacitor bank, this disc should fly straight in the air. This capacitor bank is charged to a thousand volts, and it holds 1,000 microfarads of electric charge, which should be pretty cool. So let's launch this off. All right, Zach over here is gonna launch it. Safety first. Yeah, I'll take your phone so you can video it. You know how to get the video on there. Yeah. You ready? Not okay. I'll help you charge it real quick. So we're gonna charge it up to. So you turn this one on, and you wait till the line gets up to like uh, a little over 400, which will mean 900 volts, which is the max this cat bank can take. I wasn't listening to a word you just said. <laughs> well, it's ready to fire anyway. So, so what you do is you use that stick and you touch those two wires together, basically. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. My reaction would be so bad. I'm gonna be so scared. That was Whoa. actually a little loud. 